Oh, hey, good morning. Mike from One Arm Brewing and Barbecue here. A uh, little morning action. Let's get that light fixed there. So, um, how are we doing this morning? You're probably thinking, wow, Mike, what are you gonna cook up this morning for you? Well, I'm not gonna cook up anything for you except for a good bowl of cereal and some coffee. So, uh, you know, last night we posted, uh, we're eating cereal for dinner. And, um, you know, there's no rules anymore. And I know some of y'all, some of my faithful 24 followers on uh, YouTube are uh, kind of curious as to what goes into a good bowl of cereal. Well, there's a lot to it. So let's check it out, shall we? First thing we're gonna do is get our coffee going. So we got a mug. This is one of Jude's favorite mugs. You may know me from my mug of the day. Got some water here exciting stuff. Filling it up. Filling it up. Now it's important when you fill up your mug that you leave some room for creamer if you're that kind of person, which I am. I also know that uh, when I put this in the little coffee pot thing, some of that water is going to steam off. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in. There we go. Uh, we do not have a fancy Keurig. Ours has the coffee on one side and the K-cup on the other side. It's important uh, you have your mug ready to take out the old one so that any drippage goes down there and not on the counter. Throw that away. Here in one arm, we like our gadgets. We have the remote control. Yeah, how about that? The no-touch. Built for the coronavirus, contactless trash can. Come back in over here. We're gonna get, we're a big fan of the breakfast blend. Some mornings we would like to go with um, with some chicory, but we have to use a different mug for that. We have to use our mug from uh, Cafe Du Monde for that. And we're gonna hit go. This will fill this right up. Now, oh, let's see. Ah, oh, back over here. Probably get the light on. So we're going to be eating uh, cereal al fresco. We want to go with a certain cup instead of a bowl. Since we're going outside, I have found that this size cup is perfect for eating cereal outside. We have two of them. This is from some kind of pizza place. I don't know. This cup goes back to Graceland uh, in Tennessee, uh, probably 25, 26 years ago. Uh, this is a great cup. It's been around that long. We take care of it. It's a little stained on the inside from, I don't know. And our cereal to the choice today is going to be Captain Crunch peanut butter. There is nothing better. So you want to open your bag like so. Carefully sprinkle in your cereal, allowing air to get in between each of the little pieces so that they properly have space. We're going to fill up to about there. We're going to close the bag. Like so. We're going to get our spoon ready. We like to go with the bigger size spoon as opposed to the little spoon. The big spoon allows you to get a really good bite. Here, look at the size of those. Let's do the comparison. Uh, do not put the spoon in yet. If you put the spoon in now, you have a hard time pushing it down and you got to deal with the milk. And sometimes if you put the spoon in, it'll, the milk will reflect off. The, reflect. That's not even a word. The milk will kind of hit that and splash off. So we're going to wait on the milk until our coffee is done. We're going to hit it both at the same time. There's that coffee going. It hasn't really hit its, hit its peak of coming out yet. There it goes. One thing on our coffee pot I noticed, uh, it's about five or six years old. We put the water in and then it wouldn't work. Uh, it would say it was too full, the water reservoir was too full. And so you'd end up having to drain it and try it again. So the little, the, the little float in there that, that goes up in the end of water was kind of messed up. And we discovered that if we tipped it forward, so we're sitting on a coaster, tip it forward, that float tends to work just right. Coffee works. And we're good to go. 
You can also um, put a large carafe under here like to go. Uh, this little metal thing flips over the cups to sit higher so it doesn't splash everywhere, but eh, whatever. It's working its little heart out. And here in a sec, it will be done. And on this coffee pot, it finishes before it beeps, so if you're paying attention, you get your coffee that much faster. This is a good size cup. Um, you know, some of the cups we have here are Mug of the Day collection. You know, this one we won't get to use, so it had to be retired, fell and chipped. Um, it's one of my favorite cups, a good size cup. Up here, these are my favorite kind of cups though, this, this old school diner cup. Nice heavy weight, good amount of coffee in there. You see some of them up here, they go way back. That shelf's pretty big. Um, there's a hockey cup, Tennel, that's for you. This one I'm waiting until a, a Sunday when I actually make a pot of coffee uh, because this one's kind of small, but this is from Frisch's Big Boy, uh, one of our favorite uh, food places in Kentucky. All right, so it's done. It hasn't beeped yet, but it is done. We're gonna take this off. I'm gonna walk over this way. We're gonna come back to here. And we're gonna get our creamer. And the creamer that we like here at One Arm this is the only creamer we use, Coffee Mates uh, Italian Sweet Cream, 35 calories to the tablespoon. We don't add any sugar. This is nice and sweet. And we will put in oh, about that much, about a tablespoon, sometimes less, sometimes more. Now here's the crucial part, the milk for the cereal. We come in, we're gonna pour just until they start to float. When they start to float, give it a little touch, and that's enough cereal. Close it all up, and let's head back outside. So here we are in our favorite spot to sit in the mornings. Uh, backyard, there's the grill back there. You guys know that well, my faithful followers of 24. Uh, and uh, let's just give a look around. Uh, the morning here. Here's the view you get in the morning. You get the sun coming up through those trees right there. So you get some sunlight on your face and then it hits that clump of leaves and it kind of shades off. By the time it gets up to there, it's time to go inside most mornings because it gets too hot. Um, when it's overcast, we stick around a little bit longer. There's our favorite tree. Let me tell you, this tree has been through everything. Um, I'm not sure if I've told the story on here, but when we moved in, uh, over on the right side, this side there, was a giant trunk of a branch that went up and up and up. And the previous owners had um, lashed it to, to the tree with, uh, with some cable to keep it, because it was it in wide, it did kind of split, kind of like, like that. And we had a big storm about five years ago, took that branch out, took out this panel of fence, and it landed on our neighbor's roof, and it, it went all this way on the roof and it was probably on that roof for a good two weeks while the insurance companies fought over whose whose responsibility it was finally they figured it out got it cut off we thought the tree was going to be dead uh came back glorious nice big green last year we had a microburst uh tornado system come through uh, right over our house and we had a branch that went this way took it out took out this section of tree of fence uh, my neighbor and I cut a lot of that off and then a couple of buddies came over shout out to Marcus and Randy uh, With the chainsaws came over and we got it all cleaned up pretty good um, And again, we were thinking well, that's it. We should get the tree cut down, but it keeps coming back This is a mesquite tree it keeps coming back. It's resilient uh, And that just reminds me of you know how life is for us every time uh, You know something bad comes and hits us takes us out knocks us down um, stay strong uh, and you're gonna come back from it. And that this tree, every morning I sit here and think about that with this tree. The other thing that's great about this tree, let me see if I can zoom in. Uh, we get a bunch of birds that come in and they, we have some blue blue jays and robins that like to hang out there in the morning. Uh, where's he at? Uh, he's, uh, he landed a minute ago. We got some robins that'll land right there. They like to land right there all the time. 
And then, you know, like I said, we got the wrens that come and live back there. We're gonna build a new wren house, so we'll have two for them, uh, probably today or tomorrow. Let's get our obligatory mug of the day shot so we get that sun, get that light just right on the face, the eyes, the cup. And we would take that picture right here. Click. That's some good stuff. Not hot chocolate, it is definitely coffee. Let's go for that cereal. There it is. With the coffee, computer off to the side. We're gonna do some fantasy baseball, simulated baseball stuff here in a minute. Let's go for a bite, shall we? It's been sitting here. Got just enough time to get a little bit soft. We'll get that first bite. You're gonna come up, here it is. The peanut buttery taste from those Captain Crunch. You know, the crunch is still there, but there's a little bit of sog, sogginess to it from the milk because it's sat. As you go down, you know, this isn't a meal that you can sit and, and think about it. So you, you gotta eat it relatively quick, but that there's just enough milk in there drizzled through. Remember, you, you poured it in to leave the air so that there's room in there for that milk to kind of capture as it goes down. And as you eat it, it's great. Then at the end, what's perfect about this, it's in a cup about that much milk left over guess what that's a good sweet milk just kind of chug that at the end it's perfect i want to give a shout out to my buddy chase down at dad does dinner down in houston uh, a little great he calls me a micro brew i guess i would be a micro mini micro brew he's a uh, mini mini chef his kitchen always open 24 7 good stuff down there he made a uh, garlic uh, spicy shrimp alfredo Pettuccine Alfredo last night. It looked phenomenal. A couple of burgers the other day he did. We're going to do burgers tonight, I think. We'll do a video for that. But I just wanted to share how breakfast goes around One Arm Brewing. Let me tell you, there's a lot more to making a bowl of cereal than, than you think. So, all right, signing off. Chef, Chef Chase, <laughs> Chef Chase. Uh, Chase, good to see you, buddy. Have a good one. All right, I'm out.